the universe holds an unthinkable number of secrets and mysteries. Astronomers keep on discovering hundreds of exoplanets that don't fit the generally accepted framework. And so today, you will learn about a planet covered with hot ice. Then you'll see another one that was previously known as a diamond planet. And finally, have a chance to observe a teenage planet orbiting its parent star. Let's find out what this is all about right now. Weird Exoplanets Lying only 30 light years away from Earth, the mysterious Neptune-sized exoplanet Gliese 436b is emitting a huge comet-like hydrogen cloud dubbed Behemoth. It's about 50 times bigger than the parent star. Strong stellar radiation causes hydrogen to evaporate from the exoplanet. Such a large-scale phenomenon around any planet has never been observed before. Right next to it, there's a parent star, a faint red dwarf called Gliese 436. This is an M-type star. The planet has a mass of 22.1 Earth masses and takes 2.6 days to orbit its star, which lies 0.0291 AU away from the exoplanet. Gliese 436b was discovered in August 2004 by R. Paul Butler and Jeffrey Marcy of the Carnegie Institution of Washington and UC Berkeley using the radial velocity method. In short, this method involves spectrometric measurement of a star's radial velocity. A star with a planetary system has a small orbit of its own, its movement being affected by the planet's gravitational pull. This, in turn, would change the speed at which the star moves towards and away from the Earth. That is, a change in the star's radial velocity relative to the Earth. The star's radial velocity can be calculated based on the shift in the spectral lines caused by the Doppler effect. On January 11, 2005, the planet was seen crossing its star's disk, but back then, this event didn't gain any attraction. In 2007, Michael Gallone of the University of Geneva in Switzerland and his team observed the transit of the exoplanet moving near the stellar disk relative to Earth. Transit observations enabled scientists to calculate Gliese 436b's exact mass and radius, which is almost equivalent to those of Neptune. The exoplanet's radius is approximately 37% of Jupiter's radius. But Gliese 436b stands out not only due to its massive size, the exoplanet's atmosphere is truly unique and full of mysteries. Studying this atmosphere is going to help scientists better understand the atmosphere of rocky planets in the future. When studying the Gliese 486 system and its planet in the Virgo constellation, scientists have proven that the hot planet Gliese 436b is methane-free using NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope. This contradicts standard planetary atmosphere models, showing that any world with the usual mixture of hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen as well as up to 1,000 degree Kelvin temperature, should be rich in methane and poor in carbon monoxide. The exoplanet has a temperature of about 712 degrees Kelvin, so it was expected to have methane. But Spitzer's observations have proven that it's not the case. What puzzles scientists even more is that originally, the planet formed as a gas giant and was much farther from the host star in the past. As Gliese 436b got closer to its star, the exoplanet was stripped of its hydrogen layer due to a process known as a coronal mass ejection. 
Further research revealed a thermochemical imbalance in the planet's atmosphere. It turned out that the methane content in the daytime atmosphere of Gliese 436b was over 7,000 times lower than the expected values and that it was surprisingly rich in carbon monoxide molecules. And here lies the second mystery. There shouldn't be so much carbon monoxide since its volume decreases when the temperature rises above a certain threshold. Carbon holds hydrogen at low temperatures. By contrast, it gives up hydrogen and takes oxygen from, say, water molecules to make carbon monoxide when it gets too hot. The nature of this amazing phenomenon hasn't been fully understood, just like the mystery of the missing methane. This still leaves astronomers scratching their heads, looking for the answer. So scientists realized that the planet was too small to be composed of mostly hydrogen gas like Jupiter. But at the same time, it wasn't compact enough to be a rocky super-Earth. They concluded that Gliese 436b could be composed primarily of an unusual form of water, namely ice solidified under pressure rather than temperature. Scientists claim that the water turned into exotic ice due to strong gravity and huge pressure inside. This can be probably explained by the planet's enormous gravity which is strong enough to compress minute amounts of water vapor in its atmosphere, preventing it from turning back into liquid. This strange, exotic form of ice is called Ice X. This ice cannot be held in hands or put in the mouth because it's so hot that it can literally burn any living thing. It's strange but it's not technically correct to call Gliese 436b a burning ice planet because, in fact, exotic ice doesn't burn. It's just hot ice, extremely hot ice. It turned out that a part of this planet is evaporating due to the parent star's pressure. Scientists believe that this planet either has a high cloud layer blocking the view or a cloudless atmosphere with a low hydrogen content, which makes it nothing like Neptune. Instead of hydrogen, it can contain relatively large amounts of heavier molecules, such as water vapor, carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide, which compress the atmosphere and make it difficult to detect any chemical features. Moving farther away from our planet, 41 light years away, we can see the exoplanet 55 Cancri E, otherwise known as Janssen. It orbits the Copernicus G type star. Its molten surface is completely uninhabitable. Above the burning horizon of Janssen, one can see Galileo, the exoplanet's parent star. It weighs 8.08 .08 Earth masses and has a radius of about 12,000 kilometers and an orbiting period of 17 hours, 41 minutes. The silicates in the atmosphere condense into clouds on the dark side of the tidally locked planet, reflecting the lava below. Astronomers discovered the planet in 2004 when studying the spectrum of its parent star, 55 Cancri A, one of two stars in a binary system in the Cancer constellation. Astronomers originally thought 55 Cancri E had an orbital period of 2.8 days, but 2011 measurements showed the planet was much closer to its parent star. Based on observations with the Canadian Most Space Telescope, scientists established an orbital period of just under 18 hours. The researchers estimate that the surface temperature of 55 Cancri E can reach 2,700 degrees Celsius, 
for some time. It was called the Diamond Planet because it was believed to be composed of diamonds and graphite. Although this theory hasn't been confirmed yet, the planet still remains an interesting subject of research due to its density and very close location to the parent star. So, according to the Combined Space Telescope data, the planet's radius is twice as big as that of the Earth, and it's eight times heavier than our planet, meaning that on average, it's less dense than the Earth. However, previously discovered diamond planets had a much higher density. Follow-up observations with the Spitzer Space Telescope in 2012 showed us that 55 Cancri E hides much more secrets and mysteries than we thought. While the planet was originally believed to be dense and rocky, Spitzer suggested that the planet contains a big part of light elements and compounds, such as water. However, according to the researchers, the planet's high surface temperatures contribute to the supercritical state of the liquid, meaning that there is almost no distinction between the liquid and gas phases. Supercritical fluids have an intermediate density between a liquid and a gas. Any substance at a temperature and pressure above certain threshold turns into a supercritical fluid. When a substance is in the supercritical state, it has intermediate properties between its gas and liquid phases. It has a high close to liquid density and low viscosity. Provided that there are no interface boundaries, the surface tension also disappears. To date, Janssen remains the only known exoplanet with these features. In 2012, a model of the planet's subsurface showed that 55 Cancri E is composed of carbon that mainly comes in the forms of diamonds and graphite, as well as iron, silicone, silicone carbide, and possibly silicates. However, a year later, it was found that the exoplanet has 25% more oxygen than carbon. Theoretically, 55 Cancri E can still be considered the diamond planet, since it has quite a lot of carbon left. But that's not the only thing that caught scientists' attention. What they are really trying to figure out is the strange history of how 55 Cancri E was formed. Scientists have already found explanations for high day and night temperature fluctuations on the planet. As it turns out, they are affected by the activity of volcanoes and liquid lava. Moreover, the atmosphere analysis indicates that the surface of the super-Earth is mostly comprised of helium and hydrogen, resembling a gas giant. Meanwhile, more than 137 light-years from Earth, Three teenage planets orbit a young star, TOI-2076, from the Boötes constellation. The star is only about 200 million years old, which is less than 5% of our star's age. Those newly discovered planets were detected by the TESS telescope as recently as 2021. Two teenage planets' outer worlds TOI 2076C and D are four times bigger than our planet and nearly 20 times heavier. Their orbiting period exceeds 17 days. TOI 2076B is the third star in the system and resembles Neptune. It weighs 10.8 Earths, takes 10.4 days to complete its orbiting period and lies at a distance of 0.0631 AU from its star. The planet goes through an atypical transitional or juvenile phase of its life cycle, astronomers say. It's not newborn, but it's not mature either. Studying the planets during this teenage stage will ultimately help understand older planets in other systems as well as provide an insight into the history of the early solar system and the little-studied planet evolution. 
Stay tuned for new fascinating facts about mysteries of the universe, stars, and planets. Let us know in the comments which one you think is the weirdest. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video so we can see how many space enthusiasts are out there.